All right, yo, sup? So the other video I told y'all I was gonna post another video in three hours, and I did so, and I asked y'all to subscribe and join my Discord. Over a thousand new subs and over a thousand new Discord members in like three hours. Thank y'all so much. Generally, I don't double upload today because I make sure I have something of value to say before I upload. But today is a different day. <laughs> Not to say this isn't of value, but I actually feel good for once in my life. So I wanted to make uh, two uploads in one day. So let's get right on into it. So once you guys hit AR40 and AR45, who knows, in three months, maybe even a year, who knows how long it's going to take you to get there, you're going to be presented with a bunch of different domains. We're going to go through them right Right here okay so one you have midsummer courtyard and then we also have uh not cecilia garden baited uh <laughs> shit this one uh valley of remembrance and then you also have a hidden palace of zo uh and then you got clear pool and mountain cavern and then you have one more but i believe it's not here i believe it's right over here yes you have domain of Guyun. you're gonna have many 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 sets to choose from but which is the most valuable to farm well generally what most people will think to do is to find the one set that they very much like for their favorite character and farm whichever one drops the set that's best for them and that's okay. You can totally do that, dude. If you just want to work on your Klee, if you want to work on your Deluke, well, go for it. Or whatever favorite character you have, leave a comment down below. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but what I think, me, a min-maxer, a whale, a man who wants to make sure that I'm, uh, you know, playing the game pretty dang efficiently, um, I think what's way better is to farm whatever domain can drop the most sets that can be used on like any amount of characters so what i mean by that is is that yes hidden palace of zoe absolutely fucks because it drops one of my favorite sets in the game which is the crimson witch of flame set because i believe this set slaps hard okay 15 percent extra pyro damage bonus nut Okay, increase overload and burning damage by 40%. Increase vaporize and melt damage by 15%. Using an elemental skill increases two piece uh, effect in this by 50% for 10 seconds, max three stacks. Now I'm gonna use that shit on my clay and I'm gonna use that shit on my Deluke. Yes, I could also go Lava Walker, but I find this set very boring and I don't like it. So I'm not going to use it. You can use Lava Walker if you like, but I much prefer Crimson Witch of Flames. I think it's way cooler, okay? Defenders will, I'll say this right now, this shit's ass cheeks, okay? Not interested, not even a little bit. I think this shit is dog shit, okay? And then we also have Martial Artist, all right? Martial Artist is, it's fine. It's not gonna be anybody's best in slot, but it will be a decent set that you can get, but keep in mind, you can only get it out of four star, okay? So for me, I will use Crimson Witch of Flames and I will use Martial Artist, maybe if I'm desperate, okay? So, so far out of the four sets that drop here, I'm only going to use two of them. Now, that means that there's a 50% chance that each time I, I get an artifact that I'm just going to delete it, okay? I don't like that at all. So I'm going to wait on this one, even though my two main damage dealers are Deluke and Klee. And the sets for her, or for the sets for them, would be amazing, okay? Now, here's this other one that I've been grinding quite a lot of, which is Valley of Remembrance. And I'm going to say this one right now, I think this place is amazing, okay? This place is amazing because uh, two of the, let me rephrase that, both of the legendaries that drop here will be multiple characters best in slot. That means that there is no better set for them, at least in my opinion. So, uh, Viridescent Venerare, okay? This is what I believe is going to be Venti and Sucrose's best in slot. Best in slot, which means there is no better gear set for them, bar none, no contest. You can disagree, just my opinion. You do what you want to do. This is the shit that I want to use on mine, okay? Animo, you tell me, you tell me where this doesn't sound good for Sucrose and Venti. Animo damage bonus plus 15%. None, okay? Not. I'm using them as assist, so all they will be doing is using their abilities. So Animo damage will increase their entire crit's damage. Okay. 
Increase swirl damage by 60%. Decreases opponent's elemental res to the element infused in the swirl by 40%. So, baby, not only is their damage going to go up, but this set will also hyperfuse with whatever your deep your main DPS uh, element is and increase uh, the damage dealt to them. Um, increased by however much elemental res they shred. So not only is it great on Venti and Sucrose, but it'll also beef up whatever DPS you choose to uh, in invest that element into the swirl effect. So this shit fucking slaps, bro. Okay, next one, Maiden Beloved, AKA your healer's best friend. Character healing effect in this plus 15%. Any heal, 15% better, not. Next, using an elemental skill or burst. Skill or burst. That's ridiculous. Increases healing received by all party members by 20% for 10 seconds. So this shit, you're gonna slap this on your Chi Chi. You're gonna slap this shit on your Jean. You're gonna slap this shit on your Barbara, unless you're going full dick glass cannon, Barbara. This is just gonna make your healers be better healers. Is there other options? Yes, you could just go uh, one of the other sets that's going to increase everybody's damage, but where I'm at, I need more healing, okay? What's gonna make me do more healing? Maiden's Beloved. It's a great set, especially if you need healing. And let me tell you, higher abyss floors, your ass gonna get slapped around, so you might as well have some extra healing. Now, unfortunately, we have the Tiny Miracle set, okay? And this one, in my opinion, big old diarrhea dicks. Elemental res increased by 20%, whatever. Incoming elemental damage increases corresponding elemental res by 30% for 10 seconds. Can only occur once every 10 seconds, okay? I don't like this one at all. I don't like building mitigation, like just like hard mitigation. Um, not really a fan, really not a fan. Um, so this set for me, I'm gonna be using on nobody, but that means two out of three drops I will be using, which is awesome. And it's used on so many different character archetypes. It's not really that niche, which is why I feel Valley of Remembrance is super sick. And I like it too, um, I like my odds of being two and three a hell of a lot better than one and two. Okay, now we're going to talk about Domain of Guyun. Now this one's a weird one because we have the Archaic Petra. Now this is 15% Geo damage bonus. And they also have upon obtaining a crystal created through Geo elemental reaction, all members gain 35% res to that particular element for 10 seconds. Okay, um, once again, I'm not somebody who's ever going to build res. I don't get this one. I don't know who this one would be used on. At least, you know, in my opinion, for anybody on my account, I am not going to be adapting to a playstyle like this where I will be intentionally uh, getting hit a whole bunch so that way my res stacks up or in case, you know, accidents happens. Like that's what I have my healers for. And I ain't gonna get fucking one shot by anything. So this way I can heal up rather than like, if I get if I get hit, sure, I can make up for it with healing. Now here, we also have Retracing Blide. And this is without a doubt, Noel's best in slot artifact. Okay, this shit is going to make Noel slap hard. We also have Heart of Bravery, which is attack plus 18%, increased damage by 30% uh, against enemies with more than 50% HP. Now, this is very universal, it's very good, but I don't think it's going to be anybody's best. However, this set can be used on pretty much anybody, and it'll be like fine right it'll be fine so those are the three main sets that drop here but in my opinion the only time that anybody's ever going to be farming this for right now once again check the fucking timestamp before two months you come back to this fucking video and say oh actually uh this is actually googly ash's best in slot techie chan so you're wrong and you're stupid check the fucking timestamp of when i'm making this as more characters get released i will remake this video but in my opinion this domain is for Noel, and that's pretty much it. So I'm not really gonna be farming this one too much. You, once again, you can build whatever set you want, but this is, this is my perspective, right? But then we have one more, which is Midsummer Courtyard, and it drops three sets. So we have Thundering Fury, we have Thunder Soother, and then we have Resolution of Sojourner. Okay, so attack was 80%, increased charged attack crit rate, by 30%.
that's fine. Uh, that would be pretty good on Kali, but I'd rather just have the pyro damage. So I'm not going to use that. I'm not sure who this would be best in slot for. I don't think anybody, but it's like, it's a fine set. It's fine. It's not really that shitty. You could use that on somebody and it'll be okay. Now we have Thunder Soother versus Thundering Fury. Now these two sets have a massive point of contention of which one do you like more, Techie Chan? Um, personally, I'm a big fan of Thundering Fury. Okay, I much prefer Thundering Fury. I feel like the play set's a lot cooler and a lot flashier because of the elemental skill cooldown release. But this one is just, hey, increased damage against enemies affected by Electro by 35%. That's amazing. Okay, that's great because anybody who put electricity or Electro on, you can use your Electro ability to do 35% more damage and also your auto attacks to do more damage. That's very cool. But I find this set super fucking boring and fuck that because this set seems dope as shit. Uh, extra Electro damage uh, and then increased damage by overload Electro charges. We're going by 40%. Uh, and then each time you trigger one of those effects, your skill cooldown goes down by one second and it can happen pretty much every one second. So pretty much that's going to cut your cooldowns in half. That shit's awesome. So the only set that I would ever farm over there is the Thundering Fury. So that means one in three drops I'm actually going to use. So I don't really want to hard farm for that early because I want to be careful with my resin. But this place, oh damn, this place, Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern. Talk about a sleeper set, okay? This place has some gangster sleeper sets, all right? So, so far our best odds are two and three for the way that I want to build my characters. Once again, I want you to come along with me, you think about how you want to build your characters, and then you adapt the same knowledge and, you know, just the talkabouts to your own shit, because that's how you're gonna get better, is listen to the shit that I'm saying and then applying that to yourself in your point of view, okay? That's the best way to learn and also just the best way to talk. I don't, I don't want y'all to consider me like a teacher. We're just here shooting the shit, talking about what's going on through my head and seeing how you feel about it. Make sure to press like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> on the topic of what's going on through my head. All right, uh, Bloodstained Chivalry, I feel like this set is absolute ass cheeks, but hey, you can disagree. Uh, physical damage plus 25%, that's a decent two-piece set, okay? That is decent. But uh, after defeating an opponent, increase charge attack damage by 50% and reduce its stamina cost to zero for 10 seconds, okay? Now, I will tell you this right now. Uh, every set, when I think about if a set is good, I think whether or not how it does in Spiral Abyss. Because in my opinion, you should only be building your characters for the hardest content in the game. The hardest content in the game is Spiral Abyss. So how will this set work in Spiral Abyss um, is very important to take into consideration. Now you mind, this only works if you kill something, which means if you're on a boss stage or a stage with a low amount of units, this is going to be dog shit. Dog shit. Okay, now also keep in mind, um, charge attack damage by 50% increase. Okay, now a lot of characters for their charge attack, let's talk about all bow users, they won't be getting the physical damage bonus anymore because their charged uh, bonus damage will have the uh, elemental affinity, as well as Clay, as other other users who um, have an elemental affinity on the charge attack. I just don't feel like this set is very good, so I'm not going to use it on pretty much anything, but I might use the two-piece set if I'm desperate, okay? Noblest Oblige is crazy. This has to be Mona's best in slot. Has to be Mona's best in slot. Elemental Burst damage plus 20%. Using Elemental Burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds. That is incredibly solid for so many assists, okay? We also have Gambler, okay? Increase Elemental Skill damage by 20%. Defeating an enemy has a 100% chance um, to remove elemental cooldown can only occur once every 15 seconds. This also has the same downside as Bloodstained Chivalry. However, this does have innate synergy with the Gambler, whereas um, Bloodstained Chivalry will not have the innate synergy for a lot of characters. So I like Gambler quite a bit. And then we also have Scholar, which is energy recharge plus 20%, and also gaining energy gives three energy to all party members who have a bow or a catalyst, can only occur once every three seconds, and that is great because a lot of our main assists for a lot of people are going to have bows or catalysts. So I feel like three out of the four sets here are great, um, and this one is still good for a two-piece. So I really like uh, clear pool and mountain cavern and i also really like 
um, Valley of Remembrance. I apologize about all of the follow notifications on twitch.tv forward slash techdome that keep popping up, but what can I say? It's a pretty hot spot to be at. All right, so yeah, I like Valley of Remembrance and I like um, Clearpool and Mountain Cavern. That being said, we talked about every set in the game, so make sure to apply on what you want to build for your characters and go there. But try your best to not just farm one place for one set. Try to figure out what place is best for you for the, the, the most sets that you want on your account. That way you can build the multiple characters at the same time and not get dead drops. Okay, I tried to keep this video as short as possible. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too fucking boring. Uh, I love you. I'm gonna leave. Bye-bye.